Hello, welcome to my video. This is going to explain to you how you add audio on top of an existing video within Shotcut. So this is useful where you've got a video which either has no audio already or it has audio that you wanna talk over and narrate over instead. So open Shotcut. Now what you need to do now is open or get your video that you wanna narrate over. So hopefully you've got one ready. And we're going to open that and line that up within the timeline. So open file on the left and I'm just going to pick a video that I want to use and that will load and automatically play on the dashboard here. So we'll just pause that now. Um, this is the video that we're going to talk over. This actually has no audio to it. So what you'll notice is when we drag it down to the timeline, the audio wavelengths are non-existent. If there was anything, you'll see it and then you can mute it by clicking here. So if there was anything or any interruptions or noises on that video when you were recording it, you can mute it so you won't hear it. And then the audio that you're gonna record over will override it. Now in our case, there isn't any, but it's good to get into that habit. And if you want to unmute it, there is audio there that you want to keep, then you would keep it unmuted and you can see that by the cross coming on or off. So next what we want to do is get our audio system ready. So you go to open other. Now what you'll notice is when it starts recording, it's not glaringly obvious that it does it. So it will start recording and it could catch you off guard. So you need to be aware at the exact point it starts to record. However, if you do miss it, then you can always edit um, as Shotcut is designed to do that. So it's not a huge problem. You, you, there is a workaround to cover that. So open other, you click audio video device. At this stage, you need to make sure that your mic is input into the machine. So do that if you haven't done so already. You also wanna make sure it's actually looking for that signal. So audio input here isn't set up correctly or the default isn't. So we want to change that to microphone where it isn't already. Click OK. And now that will record the mic that you want it to. Now here, what it's going to start to do is, is allow you to test it. Now I've kept that on um, silent here, otherwise it's going to keep echoing as I'm talking to you and not be very clear. But as you're talking here at this stage, there is a timer that you can see, however it's not recording. It's just allowing you to test the mic volume and keep that high or low. So if you wanted to make sure that your voice was really clear, you'd have that right up to the top as I have done, or you could keep it low if you want to kind of talk in the background for some sort of video. So test that and make sure it's working as you want to. Next, you want to click export, okay? Now we want to do is we're telling Shotcut that we want to record this file so we can edit it after. Now I've muted it in the video just so it doesn't interfere, but you don't need to do that. You want to make sure that's on. Then there's an advanced setting which we won't go into. Click capture file. This is going to save what you're going to record. So call it whatever you like, but just be ready in a moment. As soon as you click save, it will start recording. And we're gonna see that in a moment. So click test, or what you wanna call it. It's gonna save it as MP4 by default. And then if you want to prepare or get ready for your recording, now's the time to do so. Because as soon as you click save, as I say, it will start recording. Click save. And there we go. Now it's going to start recording my voice. So at the point where I began talking from now, that is the recording. Okay. Now, as you can see, the stop capture button has highlighted. So when I want to stop my audio, I will click stop capture and that will save it as an audio file.
Now what we want to do now is bring the video back in so we can narrate over in sync with the video. So just click the video down below in the timeline, take it to the beginning and you can press play. So you can start talking at this stage, narrate over the video, talk about whatever you like and it will record that. Now at this stage you may have started talking or it may have started recording before you are ready but that's fine you can just edit that out of shortcut so it then starts from when you wanted it to start so we'll click stop capture and that will stop the audio recording and then that's now playing in the dashboard so the audio that we recorded is now playing by default we're going to take that to the beginning so we wanted to just make sure it picked up the recording as it should do Now notice in my dash screen, it's got the mute button. If you've got that turned on, you won't hear the audio. So you need to make sure it's unmuted in your case where you can see across on your system. So I'm just listening out here for the audio. And what you might realize is for a little while, it's either recorded before you, you were ready or it started recording and there's a silence. So it just allows you to understand that so you are ready to make edit in a moment. So you've got your audio file now and that point here start recording from the moment you clicked save even if you wasn't ready. So what we want to do is bring that audio file down in the timeline so you click the three lines add audio track and you can drag that down into the timeline now and then just drag it to the front. If you click it on the video, it'll overwrite. So we take that to the beginning and then we can play. So what that will do is all the audio that I was recording over the video is now playing over the video. Now where there's sections where it's not in sync, we can rectify that in a moment. And if there's periods of gaps or coughs, for example, or disturbances, you can take that out of audio. Now you need to make sure you're selecting the right section, so audio or video, and it'll have a red bar around it so you know what you're about to edit is the correct part. So if we take this to a silent part here, it's actually silent even though you can see a tiny waveform here, that's just background noise. So we're going to take this section out of the audio because there's a, a period of gap that we don't want. So we use this option here, which is split at playhead, and you can see it's broken that up, and we do it again at the point we want to end, and we can just click cut. That's now taken that section out, and it will just bridge or concatenate that together, so that gap that was there before will no longer be in the audio. So it will just seamlessly connect. The gap that we visibly see is just for our reference, so we know what we did, but as far as the audio is concerned, it will just play in one long sequence. And that helps you keep that in sync with the video on top, especially if you were narrating, for example. So once we've got that ready, we can just make sure we save that as one whole file. At this stage, in the draft, if you like, or the editing system, it's still two separate files. So we need to export file here and that will now save it as one whole file. So the audio and video together as one as you want it to. Call it whatever you like and it will save it as an mp4 file. And I'm just going to put test complete video and audio. Click save and now on the right hand side you can see that start to create that file. Now if you look into or try and access it, it won't be accessible, so don't try yet. Wait till it gets to 100% and then you'll actually be able to open that file and it will play as you want it to. Just give that a few moments because it won't take too long. The longer the video, the more audio, the longer this part will take, so do be patient if it's a little long video. That's now ready, so we can go back in and as you can see, you can see a thumbnail of the video showing you that it's ready. So if we double click that in a second, that's showing you one that isn't ready.
so you can differentiate between the two but let's open the video now and there we go so that's basically I've muted it for the purpose of this video otherwise it's going to interfere with me talking but this now is the complete audio so there's one file it's playing the video and the audio that I wanted over the top so that's the narration over an existing audio so hopefully that's been useful and thank you for watching